Hey all, welcome to another Gate Checked Trip Report. In this video, I'll be flying on Hawaiian Airlines' inaugural Boeing 7879 Dreamliner flight from Honolulu to San Francisco as HA11. After checking in at Terminal 1, I headed through security and quickly visited the Premier Club Lounge just after Gate 18. Even though access to this lounge is free if you're traveling in domestic first class, I can't say it was anywhere near impressive as it simply was a place to sit down, get some coffee and snacks. There wasn't even a view. Anyway, on to the main event. After years in the making and many setbacks along the way, Hawaiian finally can showcase its brand new product set to replace its aging Airbus A330-200. Hawaiian celebrated the event with traditional folk music, hula dancing and even blessed the flight before departing. All guests also received Hawaiian lays and metallic name tags as they boarded the aircraft. One of our constellations that is used in uh, the tradition of Hawaiian wayfinding, uh, the scientific name for the Kapuahi is Aldebaran. So we are really excited that we're going to uh, embark on this maiden voyage. As part of Hawaiian Airlines tradition, like Kavika had mentioned, we always include mele, Hawaiian music, and hula. To start things off, we also officially greet all of you in Olelo Hawaii, Hawaiian language, in this um, Oli Aloha to welcome you into this space and into this very auspicious occasion. Kahu Laakea Arista, he will be presiding over our traditional Hawaiian blessing. Joining him, it is our highest ranking officer in the space, Mike Navaris, our managing director of airports, and of course, senior specialist, Manako Tanaka of Community and Cultural Relations. Um, Kahula Akia. Liu liu ale kau ka o koho la lele, maka makai o ka papala ie ai. E komo, e komo aku ho i au maloko, i na ka punui o ahune la ie ai. He anu e ai, he anu e ai, he ko e ko e vale noho ai. E u mau ki a i mai ka po mai, e nana i a mai ka hale o kako, ki a i i a, malama i a, e pale a ko i na ho o pili ko kako no, mai ka hiki na ki ko mohana, mai ka uka a he kai, mai i loko i waho, ki a i i a, malama i a, e pale a ko i na ho o pili ko kako no na, Ama mau ano ahae ay e kupele. As part of Kahu's blessing, he uses water as a form of cleansing, paakai Hawaiian salt, which preserves the good spirit of of pule of prayer, and all the good thoughts and energy that all of you folks bring today. And we also use the olena that really denotes the sacredness of this tradition of pule. We use the mailele as a form of the forest that kind of connects us to
to a higher place. Um, Mike is untying the mailele, officially opening this flight and this uh, commemorating this auspicious day. Mahalo again for joining us. My name is Debbie Nakanelua Richards, a proud member of the Hawaiian Airlines Ohana. Mahalo nui for joining us today. We now leave you in the hands of our guest services agents that will be taking you through the boarding process. We will also be sharing they with each of you that are joining us on this very special flight today. <laughs> Prior to boarding, press and influencers were invited for a quick tour of the aircraft. Hawaiian 787s have 300 seats with 34 light flat Lehuku suites in the premium cabin and a one to one reverse herringbone layout. These seats are based on Alliant Aerospace Ascent's product, which is also used on Qatar 77s, and will soon come to American Airlines' flagship cabins on their Boeing 777-300s and their 787-9s. Hi, The remaining 266 in economy are Collins Aerospace Aspire seats on a split between regular economy and extra comfort in a 333 layout. They feature USB-A and USB-C charging ports as well as a 12-inch seat back IFE screen. The 17 extra comfort seats also have AC power and additional legroom. The moodlit ceiling features a combination of hues including blue, red, purple, yellow, and orange. There are also a number of dotted LED fiber optic cables spread across the roof to give that starry nighttime effect. I must say this combination was so much easier on the eyes versus those harsh blues used by some other airlines.
If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe for more content like this and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future updates. We also have a free newsletter covering aviation and travel content. To sign up, click the link in the description below. Here's my bag tag with the name of the star that the aircraft was named after, in both Hawaiian and English, that being Kapui and Aldebaran, along with the November 781 Hotel Alpha registration and the aircraft type being the Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. As for the seat, do you see the problem? Yep, there's no window. So if you want a window view, avoid booking seat 6A or 6J. That aside, these seats are very spacious with various controls to manage your seat position. There's also a remote control for your IFE if you don't want to use a touchscreen, as well as an AC charging outlet. Just above is a cubby hole for your complimentary headphones and other personal items. There's also a wireless charger next to it where you can simply slip your phone in if you need some extra juice. The suites also have privacy doors, but they can only be used above 10,000 feet. I'll show you that a bit later. The tray table slide out from under the screen and can be swiveled to your liking. To the left is an adjustable armrest which can come in handy especially when you're sitting in the reclined position. <laughs> There's even a small push button reading light if you don't want to use the one in the overhead bin above. The in-flight entertainment screens measure 18 inches diagonally and features a very snappy interface. There are a number of movies, TV shows, music and games to choose from. You can also keep track of your flight, but some of the features only work once you're in the air.
for my pre-flight drink, I had a Mai Tai, but I'm not 100% sure that's, that's what I got. Maybe someone can correct me on that. And here's a quick look at the menu uh, from which I decided to have the beef brisket. your shoulder belt for taxi, takeoff, and landing. To do so, place the metal end over the fitting on the buckle and pull the belt until it clicks. To unfasten your seatbelt, push the button on the buckle. It is Hawaiian Airlines policy to keep your seatbelt fastened at all times while seated in case of unexpected turbulence. Well, the seatbelt doors on the left and four doors on the right. Please note that exits on this aircraft utilize this green symbol. This green symbol with arrows indicates the direction to the exits. Locate the two exits nearest you using these green symbols. The nearest exit may be frontal or behind you. This aircraft is equipped with emergency floor lights that lead to all exits. To open exit doors, rotate the handle in the direction of the arrow and let go.
would like to call your attention to the no smoking and fasten seatbelt signs, smoking and vaping, including the use of any electronic smoking device. It's not permitted at any time on board this aircraft. Should the captain turn off the seatbelt sign, we recommend that you continue to wear your seatbelt in the event we encounter any workout turbulence. You're free to use approved electronic devices at this time. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are allowed. However, electronic devices that have transmittal capabilities must be in airway mode prior to use. When charging your cell phone or a portable electronic device while on board the aircraft, disconnect and turn it off immediately. If it becomes hot to the touch, the battery is contained. Within portable electronic devices have been known to overheat and cause serious injury. Please use lavatories located in the cabin in which you're seated. For guests seated in our main cabin, which are rows 14 and higher, lavatories are near row 29 and in the very back of the aircraft. We appreciate you do not congregate in the galleys, lavatory areas, and the flight deck entryway. Federal regulation strictly prohibits the consumption of alcohol that you may have brought on board with you. If there's anything we can do to make your flight more enjoyable, feel free to call upon us. We'll be more than happy to assist you. Again, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy your flight. During the first round of drinks, we were hit with moderate turbulence, and boy, was it not fun. I managed to only capture the tail end where things started to calm down. Finally, the main course is here. Besides the beef brisket slices, there was a side of boiled potatoes and steamed carrots. It truly reminded me of a sunny lunch back in the Caribbean. To the side was a grilled papaya salad, a rainbow cake and a Hawaiian taro bread roll. All in all, it tasted just as good as it looked, even though the brisket seemed a bit too soft, crumbling every time I tried to put it on the fork. Here's a quick look at those privacy doors I spoke about earlier. And to be honest, even without the doors, the cabin is well configured so that privacy is still maintained. For this relatively short flight, we had access to a no-ho-home blanket and a pillow to keep us comfortable throughout the journey.
And here I am trying out the full range of those lie flat seats, which were extremely comfortable even for someone who is 6 feet tall.
to welcome everyone to San Francisco, California. Local time is just about 9.08 in the evening. We'll be taxing to the gate for the next few minutes for your continued comfort, but most importantly, safety. Please remain seated and keep your seatbelts fastened. All of your carry-on items stowed. When the captain brings the aircraft to its complete and final stop at the gate as she turns off the seatbelt signs above. Before leaving us, please check around your seat area and in the overhead compartments or anything you brought on board with you. And use caution when opening overhead compartments as items tend to shift during flight. As you exit the aircraft, watch your step. You'll be stepping down onto a jet bridge. Continue to refrain from smoking until you're well within the designated smoking area outside of the terminal. If you've requested a wheelchair, please remain comfortably seated and allow the main flow of passengers to exit the aircraft once your wheelchairs are available. As always, thank you for watching and feel free to subscribe to see more content like this.